Have you, have you had a lot of deep heat on? No, I need it though, they're proper tight. I've got a real smell of deep heat, quite nice. Okay. Yep, go on. Cool, right, okay. I am recording. Okay. Hi Nick, thanks for joining us here at St George's Park. I know, I'm excited to be here. How was it? You've been in the plunge pools and all that kind of stuff. It's been really, really good. I've never been anywhere like this before. We went to to Tottenham in April and we did a bit of training there. And I mean, a little bit of training, probably 10 minutes or something. And uh, yeah, I've never been to anywhere like this, but it's been really good. It's been been tough doing the show and (laughs) the training at the same time. And they're like, talk, what's happening? I'm like, well, I'm out of breath. But we've been on everything. We've been in like the underwater treadmill. Me and Ollie Merce got in there, which was really, really weird. Have you had a go on it? No, we haven't. It's like the weirdest. You should have a go on it. It's very, very odd. Uh, And then I went on the one with no gravity. So you put these sort of weird tight really tight shorts on and then you zip into a tent and then you run and every, like as you run more it sort of takes all the weight out of your legs or something Sounds like the Krypton very factor. it's age. very insane i mean it's like yeah like you're running on the moon i don't know if that has helped me or hindered me today <laughs> because now i feel down. knackered so <laughs> like, how, how does it compare to the the usual preparation for a radio one breakfast show what ritual do you normally go through usually well usually there's no ritual for the breakfast show we yeah. just sort of just see what happens up. and like turn up and see what happens but the, bacon you, butty. the weird thing is i've had more unhealthy today <laughs> than i ever have when doing the breakfast don't show say usually that when the well, usually around. i'll have like like scrambled eggs smoked salmon and like that's it all of like a protein shake today I've had like a cinnamon swirl pan of raisin spicy chicken (laughs) I'm like just like constantly so maybe we're right for energy because I did get up at half five and the match is like 11 so maybe this is why England haven't won a world cup for a long time maybe they need some cinnamon swirls (laughs) and some black coffee off off the pitch you kind of live the the famous footballer lifestyle you've got the the, the, (laughs) you've got the fans in the street asking for autographs you, um, you've got the nickname Grimmy. Yeah. Perfect Perfect nickname. Footballer Good footballer nickname. name, yeah. yeah. But have you got the skills on the pitch? Well, do you know what? I've not, I, I don't know, I've never played, never really been into football. My brother, my dad, my nephew is here actually, they're all massively into football. I was always right. taken to like Man United as a kid and they, they're they really good, like really good, my brother and my dad. So I don't know if once it happens, it might just be like, it, it, might, just it, it could just... happen. My dad's like been disappointed. He's like, them legs are perfect. <laughs> like, I can't believe you've never played, like he's devastated. So I don't know, it might be all right, might do my dad proud today. What do you think you've got the physique? for out on the wing I think you should you think? You know, get on the wing and well, take him on on the, on the outside I'd like to do wing but I think my teammates want me to be in goal <laughs> well you have the Ronaldo shorts it hits them up again you I know the, I can make them like Ronaldo so short, you could get like out that, on look. the wing and cut inside really could. it's a real good Ronaldo shot yeah. although I'm number one which would suit the goal Goalkeeper. that's true now we saw you getting a lot of help from your, your producer on the show yeah. you have a good banter good repartee yeah. there if you could pick one footballer to come in for one day, co-host the show with you, would it be your Balotelli. Host? Really? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm obsessed him. with him. I, love him. I think I've got the same birthday, or it's around oh, mine. Really? So I want to be best friends enough so that we have joint birthdays. So does Are that you going mean... to Grimmie and Balotelli's? <laughs> yeah. You've got a bit of colour in the hair as well. Like I know, yeah. He'd love that. I know, what's, I think he'd like that, yeah. yeah. What's your favourite Balotelli story? I've been I, a think few, the, I like the fireworks yeah, that's out good. the window. I really liked it when he got stuck with all the money in his car. And they went, why have you got loads of money in your car? And he said, because I'm rich. Because I'm rich, yeah. <laughs> now, talking, <laughs> talking about football, we so want to get your thoughts on the big footballing okay. issues of the I'm moment. I'm good at football yeah. knowledge. So, Luis Suarez. This yes. is serious, by the way. Okay. Should he go to Arsenal? Should he stay at Liverpool? Or should he go to Real Madrid? I think he should go to Real Madrid. Nicer weather. Yeah. Um, although, maybe not as many good shops as London. Okay. Uh, that's the expert view. Yeah. Next, next question. Cesc Fabregas. Yes. Should he stay at Barcelona or go to Manchester United? Manchester United, my hometown. My mum would make you a nice bit of tea. <laughs> that's all you need that's to know. That's all you need. I've got one more. Okay. Gareth Bale. Yeah. Should he stay at Tottenham or should he go to Real Madrid? Oh, he should definitely stay at Tottenham. He's done good things there. He's had a real good season and he's scored some great things. What do you think he's good? Great strength is at Tottenham. He's really good at football. He is. He's really good at football, which is a great strength in a footballer. The expert view from Nick Grimshaw there. Yeah, watch out Des Liner. Perfect. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> great to meet Cheers, you. man. Thanks, nice to meet you. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks so much. <laughs> so, okay. It'll take 10 seconds, yeah, won't it? We might have to do like get them walking up to the times, maybe, or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, do you need anything after? Do you want like post?